I think if we're sound fundamentally, uh, we have a chance to, to win against anybody out on our schedule, you know, whether it be La Villa or down the road in our district. We certainly respect every opponent we play, but we feel it's the Warriors taking care of the Warriors. The Warriors took care of La Villa on Friday night. Yeah, Wally Oliveras was back from injury, and they got their quarterbacks going in and out. Some of them play running back. It was a big win for Santa Rosa. Oliveras goes over 140 yards and a, and a touchdown there. Santa Rosa gets the win in the Sugar Bowl. They get to hold on to that trophy for another year. Uh, Mike, uh, Arturo Garcia, you know, had the turnaround of the year last year, uh, taking Santa Rosa to where they were district champions and into the play. Playoffs. Uh, while they've had a couple of early losses, it looks like they are in the mix to, to win that new district that they're in this year. Well, yeah, it looks like the Warriors are back to the old days of winning some football games. And when you beat a team like La Villa, that's always a big rivalry game every year. Yeah, you know, we talk about momentum, you know, these other games. You carry that into district and, you know, for, you know they, what they got to do is build from last year and see if they can compete for a district championship. And it looks like they're headed in the right direction with under Coach Garcia. Yeah, Coach Garcia's got that team running. Uh, you know, by the time district comes, he's got them going the way they like. And he's building job security. You win, you win the right <laughs> games, you're, you're there. You win the right games, and, and everybody loves you. And if everybody loves you, everybody loves the football team. Football team gets some love. They love the coach back. It all works. Absolutely. So right now, let's talk about what teams we've got that are still unbeaten as it goes down to four in the Rio Grande Valley. Right now, it is Wessico East, Edinburgh, Villa, Port Isabel, and Brownsville St. Joseph. And wouldn't you know it, this week two of those teams are going to meet. It's Brownsville St. Joseph at Port Isabel. I got a chance to see Brownsville St. Joseph against Far Oratory this past weekend. Um, you know, not much competition from the Ocelots, but St. Joe is for real. They've got a, a freshman quarterback, Kai Money, who gets it done. Uh, they, he's got plenty of weapons. Uh, Coach Putinot has that Oregon offense that so many weapons work. But, Joe, will that make any difference when they head to Port Isabel and take on the seawall defense? Oh, it'll make a difference. It'll make a difference because they, they've got things rolling. And, and the problem with everyone is they, they looked at St. Joseph in that scrimmage against Rio Hondo, and that's where they measured them early on. Well, folks, they had 18 kids that weren't dressed out in that. So quit looking at that tape saying that's the ball club you're going to see when they go to Port Isabel. The real Monty Stumball will know this, but he'll be ready. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and make our picks on it then. Mike, who have you got winning? Uh, Brownsville, St. Joseph, Port Isabel, both of them coming in 4 now. Yeah, I mean, even though money's been cashing in. Mm -hmm. um, like, you know, it, Port, like it, like yeah. it. <laughs> Port, Port Isabel is Port Isabel. And I mean, just like at Cachosa, supposedly they were rebuilding, but somehow, some way, they've been able to win football games. And I think that's going to carry into the rest of the year. I think they're very confident. Um, I'm going with the Tarpons. If you think I'm going to walk in my backyard and probably be at that <laughs> game and not pick them, no. No, I, I believe they're going to win the football game. I think I think they're the better team. Right yeah, the, uh, the fighting fish are definitely uh, fighting on. Brownsville St. Joseph will win some games in their district, but against Port Isabel of Valley Power, I th I'm going with the Tarpons in that one. We are coming right back on Sunday Sports Extra, saying goodbye to one of the Valley legends and a fantastic coach. It's when we come back. <laughs> 